What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode 7 of our blind Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Let's Play. Uh, we just finished off Verdant Cavern. I need my stylus. And uh, we are about to do our best to... I can't remember quite how much there is after the totem. I remember there's like a, a field and then like a downhill area. But I'm going to do my best to uh, finish up the rest of Melee Melee Island, either today or in this episode, so we'll see what's going on. Um, wow, a Z crystal. So that's what they call a Z crystal. It appears that Alola's mysterious Z crystals are receiving are received for overcoming trials. Is that right? Look at these creepy guys. I suppose. It may be admirable to overcome such trials using your own strength and skill rather than relying on technology as we do. I'm Zossi. You're kind of awesome, you know? Ah, <laughs> uh, this is when you are supposed to say Alola to one another, is it not? I am Dulce. Dulce? Dulce and Zossi? Dulce? And we're part of the Ultra Recon Squad, yup. That ball thing you used there, that is an amazing bit of tech. We might just have to borrow that idea. We're investigating all about Z-Crystals and Auras and all kinds of stuff. So I guess we'll probably see you around, Alola. Alright, still... Oh god. I'm under attack. <laughs> we got. I do not want you, young goose. Goose. All right, Cha. Take this man down a peg. What do you guys think? New type in the next generation? Brick type. Brick break is ultra effective against it. Alright, Cha's uh, gonna gain boosted experience, so I can't I can't leave with him anymore. He's he's earning too much. He's gonna get too strong. Uh, Pups is good. Pups is good at clearing up, cleaning up. So let's uh, let's do that. Chess is still too weak to lead with. Uh, doesn't really have any solid moves at this time. But I'm all good in here. I right, guess we're gonna. <laughs> Guess we're gonna get one more battle. Yes! A Lolan Diglett. Diglett during the uh, the battle used Astonish, and I gotta say, Astonish is like the coolest animation of any of the moves. It's, like casually walking away, like don't give a fuck about this battle, and then just whoosh, hit him with the Astonish. Ground Steel. Not, not great typing. Uh, we're not going to use Diglett this time around. Diglett is... Um, well, when I, I just re recall Diglett being a massive letdown, and I, I got rid of him pretty quickly. All right, Ilima, what you got to say to me? I beat your trial. Greetings, Captain Ilima here. As you travel around the islands of Alola, you will find captain's barricades here and there. These barricades help mark areas where particularly strong Pokemon can be found. Anyone can pass through them, of course. If they are escorted by a strong trainer, those attempting the island challenge can pass the barricades as long as they clear the trials. Are you ready? Then behold the power of a captain. <sighs> You tell him. Get rid of it. Did he just slam to the jam that wall from a distance? Voila! Your world just got a little bigger. I am the only captain here on Melee Melee Island, meaning my trial is the only one here. Now that you have cleared the trial, please inform our island kahuna, Hala. Shaka bra, Kukui. 
Hey there, Gio. Well, looking at the expression on Alima's face, I'd say you cleared your first trial, yeah? Guess I better give you a little reward. Time to learn about Z Power. Woo. Start off by selecting compatible Z Crystal from the Z Crystal pocket in your bag. Yep. Then use the Z Crystal you choose on a Pokemon. The crystals are compatible with Pokemon if it knows a move at the same time as the crystal. And you'll be able to use the Z Power in battles. And don't worry, you can use the Z Crystals over and over. Oh, many times as you want. No, it's not that it's boring. I'm very, t I'm very tired. I mean, it is a little boring. I already know how to use the Z Crystal, but watch and l watch and learn, cousin. No, do not make me watch you battle again, Kakui. And here's the beauty of me no Growlithe. Do not kill it. No, no, <laughs> Growlithe. No, <laughs> Growlithe. Why? No. I will never forgive you for this, Kakui. Ah, I love Growlithe. I want a Growlithe. All right. Oh, so that's why you've been looking so ragged, Professor. <laughs> no, it's like I was hit with amnesia. I forgot that I lost Lily somewhere on Route Three. Think you could spare some time to help me look for her, Geo? I can also look around where I think she might have wandered off to. Thanks, cousin. Let's split up and find her. Yeah. He is not some weak damsel. It's a berry tree. No! I just wanted the berries. I don't want the crab brawler. I caught another crab brawler, because why not? It SOS'd me one time also. Uh, but I'm not going to nickname this one. Also, I goofed, because in that battle, since it SOS'd me... Um, chest leveled up and I she learned mean look and I was like or sorry nightshade and I was like why not and then I got rid of mean look completely forgetting that that would have been really great for catching Abra so you know not a smart move on my part uh, okay so if we go this way we'll get attacked by this burb what kind of burb are you? It was a Vullaby before, if I remember correctly. Vullaby versus Rufflet, uh, probably because Sun versus Moon, version specific, I'm guessing. Rufflet, you cutie. All right, Rufflet, get in this Dex. Let's keep on. Let's keep it going. Full speed. Uh, with its powerful legs and sturdy claws, it can crack even the hard shells of Shelter and pluck out their insides. That is barbaric as f <laughs> My god. Uh, no nickname for you, Rufflet. Alright. Got a little hilly area here. You can hide from the shadow in that little duck in that little corner. But there's an item over here. Can I beat that shadow above me? Yes, got it. Okay, we got a trainer battle here. Do you have any preferences about the type of move in addition to the type of Pokemon? Uh, I'm a big fan of. Uh, fighting type moves um, and water type Pokemon this person's a big fan of garbage Pokemon with terrible type moves apparently Cottony get out of here Cottony's death animation is, or the faint animation is like the slowest saddest faint I've ever seen it just like gently nods off into its world of despair. What do we got down here? A grassy area. Another trainer over here. Reminding me to note that my Pokemon have abilities. Uh, 
And Ian has a side deck. Boring. Alright, Ian, you are defeated. Get out of my way. Give me your poke again. Give me that milk money. Alright, back to the beginning. So a grassy knoll down here with an item in it. Man, they really wanted me to get into a fight in here. Like, as soon as I touched the grass, we saw something. We've seen it the Spearow, so it's looking like this area's got pretty similar Pokemon to, um, to Route 2. What do we have over here? Is it worth it? Heal Ball. Probably not. Probably wasn't worth the 10 seconds it took me to run over there and grab it. Um... Melee Melee Meadow, a paradise for Oricorio with the Oricorio dance. So there's tons of places to uh, to catch Oricorio. So I'm not going to be super involved in catching one now. Shut up, phone. Nebby, Nebby, come back. Ah, uh, Geo, Nebby, it got out of my bag again. You are a reckless trainer. <laughs> Hi, Nevi. Look at him go. But why would he want to go into that cave? And right after he got into so much trouble on the bridge, too, what if a wild Pokemon attacks it? It doesn't have any moves it can use to battle. Let's head to the cave. We can help look for Nebby. Yeah, let's pop a few repels. Um, maybe in a minute we'll... We'll, uh, and we'll do some encounters in this area, but for the, uh, if you want to train your Pokemon, you're going to want to use Roto EXP points. I'll be at your service. What? Receive extra EXP? But I just popped a Rebel. Alright, so... This is a big area. Seaward Cave. Hi, Nebby. Pew. Cutie pie. Hey, stop that. Pew. Running around like this sure is tiring. Whoa. So, the people of Alola meet in places like this, too, huh? Alola. Calm yourself, Zossi. There is only one thing we are here to confirm. We must find someone strong enough to protect the blinding one. Let us see if you might be the one, Alola. So, these guys are just testing me. There's some pretty funky music coming out of this. Ultra Recon Squad Dulce. Ooh, you got a fur fro too. Battle of the Fro's. I mean, mine's a little weakened at the moment. It's taken significant damage, but can I turn this around anyway? Tit for tat, I think I lose this battle. I want Pups to be the one that wins it, though. So what can I do here? I could baby doll eyes... No, I should sand attack for... I gotta, I gotta bank on a miss from sand attack. Ah, he's gonna sand attack also. Let's also, in addition to the fact that he might move, lose, miss his moves... Oh, I missed... Mm, he double sand attacked me. He hit twice with his sand attacks, and I only hit once. So maybe... Maybe it's not worth it. Maybe I gotta switch on out. I don't think Furfro has any non-normal moves, so Chess might be able to... Oh, no, I only have ghost moves, so I can't hit him back. Darn you, Chess. All right, little P, you can... Nah, let's give Magnemite the win on this one. I wanted to go tit for tat with Furfro, but I don't think it's going to work out in my favor this time. Magnemite should be good here, though. 
I can uh, T-Wave it once. And now it is paralyzed with a missed chance. So I'll outspeed it. Baby doll eyes will obviously still go first, but um, massively increasing the chance that it doesn't get a, an attack off here. Although it does still break through the para and break through the missed chance and get a sand attack off on me. I do have magnet bomb in the back, but I feel like against Furfro, who has really good defense, uh, coming off my very weak attack stat, it might not be worth it. But let's let's do one to see. It's not bad, but still probably worth my uh, something like 70% hit chance. Ooh, especially now that he landed a baby doll eyes on me, my attack's so low. They should call me Han. Get it? <laughs> From Star Wars. This'll take him out, though. Furfro goes down. Furfro is a beast. And is also worth a lot of experience. Look at that, that's crazy. Everything leveling up. Everything. I don't understand Ultra Recon Squad. I see. So that is a Pokemon battle. We had tried to investigate what it meant to battle with Pokemon, but it is quite different when you do it yourself. At least it seems that the Pokeball we tried to create has worked properly to capture us. A Pokemon here in Alola and I have seen for myself how strong you are young Alolan trainer so Dulce what are we going to do trainer you should know that this one here warps away if it is threatened in any way and the holes that are torn open as a result invite dangerous beings into this world but perhaps things will be all right as long as there are trainers like you in Alola but what about that girl, though? That girl should have nothing to do with our investigations, nor this Pokemon of hers. As long as no one is foolish enough to open a path that could lead here from Megalo Tower. Let us carry on, Zossi. Alola. I love those guys. They're sweet. So straightforward. No one ever says what they mean anymore. It's just like them and Team Skull. I love both of them. Pew. Pew. Nebby, you're, you're too cool. Oh, you. Pew. Thank you, Gio. And I should thank Furfro, too. Here, at least let me do this. All right, healed up. I'm raring to go. You know, I read something interesting in a book once. It seems that Pokemon called Oricorio changes appearance by feeding on the nectar from different types of evolving, but undergoing what's called a form change. Isn't that interesting? I thought it was anyway. Pew. Back into the bag, please, Nebby. I know there aren't many people around to see you here, but that's hardly an excuse. I guess we should be going now. The professor will probably be worried after the way we just disappeared on him. Lily, you had me worried. Hey, hey, Geo! Oh, and Lily's with you, too. What are you up to, Hal? Just finished up my trial. Heh. <laughs> hey, Geo. I want to see if I learned anything from my trial. Let me battle you again. Let's get it, Hal. Let's go. All right, he's got three. So let's see if I can do this using only three. That's Litten. Pups can 1v1 Litten. That'll be easy. So no need to switch here. Let's just pop off a, a little heady butt. Two hit KO? Easy. Oh, he's got an... Is it a Citrus or an Orin? If it's an Orin, I'll still get the two. Yeah. Citrus, wow. Yeah. 
yeah. So, Linton goes down easily. I don't know that anything can take on Pups. He's probably got a Pikachu and... I don't know, Gumshoe, Noibat? That's awesome, but Pups might be able to just take this whole, take this kid to town. That's a, does Noibat always look like that? That's a cool looking Noibat. Wait, is that, does that mean there's an Alola Noibat now? Hold up, that did, that is not what Noibat looks like. I need to go, ah! I don't know where to catch it though. If I saw it once, does that? Because that was pink. Noibat does not look like that. Pika. I'm serious. That's not what Noibat looks like. That was pink and kind of like black fur. So maybe there. This is good news though. That so maybe there's like there are more Alolan types. Cha wants to learn Aerial Ace. I think I have Wing Attack still. Same power? I think so. Yeah, but... Yeah. They need to be careful with their wording. They say, like, hits the target with wings spread wide. So for a second there, I thought, oh, well, that means Wing Attack hits multiple, like, two hits or two targets in a in a multi-battle type of situation but that ain't true at all so you and me both beat that totem pokemon huh geo looks like we're getting pretty strong and i'm not stopping now i'm gonna use this momentum to beat my old gramps too <laughs> hey there geo knew i could count on you yeah thanks for tracking lily down for me <laughs> what's this then how you finish your first trial too but you use some style and moves, yeah? <laughs> yeah, all thanks to Litton. He's probably rubbing his hands together in glee right about now. Oh, yeah. What do you mean? It's all part of the trials, yeah? After the, you clear one island's trials, you gotta beat battle the island's kahuna. Taking on the island kahuna in the battle is called the Grand Trial. For someone like me who's researching Pokemon moves, nothing could be better than the chance to see some more fierce Pokemon battles. Woo. I don't know about fierce. I'll be the judge of that. Come on, back to Icky Town. Catch that tailwind and blast through Route 3. Alright. Oh, that's why there was so much experience from that one thing. I had a, a boost from my Rotom. Uh, but I want to check out Melee Melee Meadow a little bit more. Because um, I feel like there's stuff here. Yeah, we're going to keep using repels. We're not done yet. So, can I get back up here? There's an item over here. This rock looks conspicuous. There's a lot of conspicuous rocks here. I don't know which one, but I guarantee one of these rocks is going to have something easy. No, that was just in the grass. There's a lot of honey in the grass, if I recall correctly. So, I can get up there and get to that guy's lost girlfriend um, but it's a drop down situation oh god regular repels run out so fast so we got an item over her we can drop down on no stop it I'm just spamming a I'm not trying to talk to you got more honey oh sugar sugar you are my candy girl is there anything over here? No? Party over here? More repel. More nectar. Yay, nectar. More items. Poison barbs. Oh, that reminds me. I should be giving my Pokemon some things. We got a Z crystal now. Alright. Now Pup's got that. Probably have something going on here. Uh, don't want confide. Don't really want to give that to anyone. And work up is probably better than tail whip on pups.
Because there are definitely situations where pups can sweep entire teams if he gets a setup going. So what have we here? Oh, hello there. You're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? Uh, would you mind having a battle with me? Sure. Hi, Meredith. Uh, she's an aspiring actress. And she wants to see the various styles of Oracorio. What did she just do? What, what did she do? She spun around. <laughs> she spun around in a circle. Alright, actor Meredith. This is going to be a boring one. <laughs> or choreo down. Pom-pom style. And now she feels like she truly understands how to pom-pom style. And then she did a spin again. And now she's saying Alola and she's peacing out. Alright, Alola girl. What? You guys hear that, right? It's a beeping. Rotom, what's going on? R. What is it? Oh, the camera thing. Alright. Alright, let's do this. You're so good. Come at me, bro. No, that wasn't a good one. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Boom. Nailed it. So he actually gets pretty close. I can just wait for him to loop the loop. She did great that time. No. Just, you're good? That's not good enough for me. What skills? Alright, which one of these has the biggest Oracorio? That one's biggest, but I don't know if it's central. Hmm. I see both the eyes on this one, and it looks the most... It looks more centered than the other one. So let's go with... Let's go with this and see what it says. How do you boo Jianle? Too bright? I guess it's good enough for an amateur. Looking at your photos makes me hungry. If I got comments like this on an Instagram photo, uh, I would be very disappointed. All right, we upgraded to version two. Um, what does this mean to me? I can zoom in on things, you lucky little thing. We're going to close the Poke Finder now. We're done with this area. Alright. So now we got around... Around this little ledge. Find this girl. He he he. He's looking for me. It makes me happy to see him search for me. It's proof of how much he loves me. Keep looking for me, baby. Awful. Alright. So we are dumb here. Who are you? Say, do you Pokemon know any moves that can restore HP in battle? This move called Roost, see? Why don't you show me that you can defeat every trainer on Route 3 first? Okay, so if I beat all trainers on Route 3, I get a TM for Roost. He's gonna give me something. Soothe Bell. Is that happiness? Yeah. Happiness. Uh, can't break through that until we get our friendly little Tauros. How to do. Aha! Trainer! I want TM Roost. I mean, I've only got one Pokemon that can learn it right now, but this guy's got a Growlithe, and I don't want to put you guys through the agony of seeing me upset, viscerally upset, from having to defeat another Growlithe, because... 
Honestly, Fresh is my boy. This is baby Fresh. I can't look. Is it over? Just kidding. I could hear. I know it's over. I had to listen to the agonizing cry of the pre-evolution of one of my favorite Pokemon. We're going to keep popping repels for a minute because uh, there's not a lot going on in this early zone. Hey, you're a local. I want a favor to ask you. Please, you got to help me. All right. Uh, on this honeymoon, falling for this Pokemon called Sableye. Get along with Carbink and they live on 10 Carat Hill. Can you catch one for me? Wow. Uh, I just wanted the berries. That's the... See, they're saying like, oh, we don't need... In the last episode, I talked about, no, oh, we don't need manure. We just... The berries just grow fine here on their own. But the whole point is I don't want to have to grow... I don't want to have to, like, do this and battle every time I want berries. If I want berries, I want to be able to just go to one area, plant six million of them, and then be on my merry little way. There's a cave down there. What's going on? There's a lot of berries here. <laughs> Which I guess is a good thing. We've got an item here. It's a nest ball. And we're all done there. That person wants a Sableye, which is a tall order and involves me going to 10 Carat Hill, uh, which is a little out of the way and I don't think I need to do it for anything. We're back to Route 1 here, so I need to go see if this is, if this means I've beaten every trainer on Route 3, because if so, we're good without a repel for a minute. Uh, if we have successfully beaten every trainer on Route 3, then hopefully... Yay! Alright, so this is like the super trainer of the zone. And he's the roost move user. These guys always have themes. Makana. He's got that anime hair going on. He's got a slow bro and an ultra ball, so you know he's rich. I'm gonna be getting like 3,000 Poke Yen from this guy. Um, let's, uh, work up. I might be able to Oko the Slowpoke after that. Uh, also because he's the Roost user, so... Oh, no, he yawned me. No! Let's get Magnemite in here. He's yawn spamming. Come on. I don't want to have to infinitely switch on this guy, but I'm not 100% sure that I know another way around it. Let's go, uh, let's go chess. Normal type, yawn won't affect me. Water gun will, though. Chess is going to struggle to take this guy out, I think. Um... I'm under the impression Nightshade's gonna do more than Lick. Three hit KO? No, oh, Slowpoke's got too much HP. No, Yawn works on me anyway? I thought it was normal type. I guess it affects, like, the area, not the Pokemon, so I'm just gonna have to keep switching around on this. Yawn's good, man. Yawn's a good move. I probably should have just tanked the yawn on on the first on pups and then just called it a day instead of playing around it like this. Cause in the process I've also ended up taking quite a lot of damage on all my Pokemon. So let's just let's just sack sack Magnemite's uh awakenedness to the yawn. Sonic Boom. Brokenly good move. Uh, 
Um, I don't really want to drop anything for it though, so let's just uh, let's say nay. It's kind of good for catching Pokemon, but it's too late now. To take on Butterfree, let's just let's just little pee it. Well, pee will do fine. Squirt a little water on it. Squirt, squirt, and everything's fine. Quick claw, get it. Oh man, Butterfree the Beast. And he got the Omni Boost? Oh god, get out of here. He got the Omni Boost, and on top of that, he's got Roost. Oh no. Oh no. This is problematic. He's gonna outspeed me too. Uh, Silver Wind is resisted by Mag uh, Magnemite, who is asleep. Uh, it's also resisted by Cha. Let's risk it. Roost! You will roost the day that you pulled this maneuver on me. Um, so Aerial Ace will pop Butterfree. I should resist this even though it's boosted. Shouldn't do too much, which it did not. Aerial Ace will take that beast out. Wow. Halucha the God. Look at that attack stat, 46. Crazy. 900, that's not enough Poke Yen. I wanted more than that. But now you'll give me a TM. Amazing. Consistent recovery is so good. Okay, so we're done here, right? Uh, the one thing is that I thought I saw... No... No, nothing. Okay. I, I don't know what... I, I had a, a brief stroke. That's all. So, looking at the time, um, I think if I'm fast, I can finish up uh, Melee Melee Island in this episode. There's the rock ruff that loves me. Hi, little buddy. So we head up here. Go say hi to Hala. I'm looking forward to see what moves you and your Pokemon will pour your soul into now that you've gotten and cleared your first trial, Geo. It's true. I'm not a trainer, so I'm sure I don't really understand how hard it must have been, but even I think it's a great achievement. Pew! The melee and melee Kahuna is strong, cousin. He's a trainer who can use fighting type Pokemon to the fullest. Yeah. Might not be a bad idea to work on those flying or psychic type moves, Shaka Bruh. <sighs> Even just looking at him, you can tell how strong he's got to be. Uh, is there anything I want to do? Not really. I mean, I probably don't want to lead with a normal type against a bunch of fighting types. Also, I'm like kind of beaten up like a lot. Fighting type is going to be good against me, actually. Bugnitude's not uh, reached his full potential yet. Just might be able to pull some moves. Cha for cleanup. A little pee. Healing up before this battle would be good. So if it's possible for me to do that. Congratulations on clearing your trial in the Verdant Cavern. Good work. 
I suppose you're here to battle the Kahuna. You think you and Ghastly are ready for me, Geo? I, I really feel like I need to heal. But let's uh, make this harder on myself and just say definitely. I have been waiting for this. I, I really should have healed up. I really should have. I'm surprised that you normally like auto heal you before any big battle like this. Oh, I have been expecting you. Allow me to properly greet the young adventurers embarking on their island challenge. I am Hala, the Kahuna of Mele Mele Island. Shall we begin? The final trial here on Mele Mele Island will be a Pokemon battle against me, the Kahuna. It is a, known as the Grand Trial. Well, Geo, you have been entrusted with a sparkling stone by Tapu Koko. Now show me and your partner Ghastly in your team's full power. Old Hala here will also be going all out. Let the Grand Trial begin. All right. So he's leading with him a chop. Machop definitely learns payback, but I don't think by level 15 he'd have it yet. That's way too strong a move. So if I'm lucky, he might only have Karate Chop, Low Kick, Focus Energy. What else does he have by level 15? I don't even remember. Um, so I can just start popping off some Nightshades. Uh, he's going to withdraw, hard withdraw, into Crab Brawler. Smart play, so they actually switch. Um, Crab Brawler, he likely did that. Crab Brawler might actually have, um, oh, it did heal me up, even though it didn't tell me. It, uh, it did. Crab Brawler might have Pursuit. Uh, but I'm going to risk it. I'm going to go into a little P here, because uh, if not Pursuit, then he's likely going to go for, ah, he does have Pursuit. Oh, man. I even said it. I thought he was going to go for a water gun because I, I didn't remember that he had pursuit. I just thought he might. So, um. Level 16 at the amount of damage. I think pups can finish off Crab Brawler with one hit. He'll certainly be able to if I pop off a, uh, a Breakneck Blitz, but I'm actually going to headbutt and save Breakneck Blitz for the next Pokemon that comes out, which is probably Machop. Oh man, that didn't kill him. And that was a crit. But he just went for a Leer here, so that's actually... That's actually okay. It's... Ugh, don't be using a soup. Come on, man. Alright, is this a two-hit KO? I don't think it is. Uh, we could break neck blitz now. Headbutt's 80, the 70 power, not 80. Uh, so how strong is breakneck blitz gonna be? 140, so double. Uh, I don't think that'll kill, actually. So it's Probably in my better interest. What can I do here? I would like to work up, but I just got leered. Uh, and this is fighting type Pokemon. So, unless my follow-up would... Alright, let's think. Let's think this through. Let's play this smart. Even with a leer, I don't see pups going down to one... Rock Smash, uh, which I think is what Crab Brawler will have at level 16. As I recall, he doesn't get an, a really good fighting move for a while. So let's go Headbutt here, because I might flinch him. Perfect. Uh, and now, I don't think one more will take him out. I could go for another one anyway, 
and then save the Breakneck Blitz and potentially Oko like the Machop or something like that, or certainly put a huge dent on it and allow me to follow up kill it. That's risky, but let's do it anyway. Let's go one more headbutt. Double flinch. That's how we do. All right, not bad. I should be switching this to set mode. I feel like a, I'm kind of cheating by like switching in and out easily like this. Uh, so let's just stay in here. I have been leered, so I do have a defense drop. I should be able to outspeed the Machop. I don't know that Breakneck Blitz will take it out, but it'll 100% put me in follow-up range. So let's go ahead and do this. It's so beautiful. I really do love the look of Z, of Z moves. And they're so epic in draft format, because it's like... You know the Pokemon that have the Z moves, and when you see it coming, you're like, oh god, what's the dance move? And then they're like, whoosh, and you're like, oh no, it's dark. So he lives on a tiny bit, uh, but unfortunately for him, Pups is an absolute beast and is not going to go down to one of your mere measly little karate chops. Weak. You're weak. Honestly, yeah, that was after a leer too. Makuhita. Uh, it's not that I wouldn't want to switch, but I'm kind of trying to play this off like, um, like it's a normal battle, so I couldn't switch. Let's baby doll eyes you real quick. Ah, he's got fake out on him. Didn't do much. Five damage. Let's baby doll eyes one time to see if it puts me in three hit KO range instead of oh arm thrust. So looks like four damage per hit. Um, I feel like he's got another healing item up his sleeve. But workups, I don't know that I have enough turns left to make workup worth it over just popping headbutt off here. So let's headbutt once, see what we can do to him. Two hit KO, easily. Good thing I didn't, uh, I didn't work up. I might be able to survive this, only one more. Yep. Clean up, pups. Ah. Pups, you absolute beast. Normal type Pokemon pretty much sweeping the entire uh, fighting type gym here. Don't do it to me. Don't do it to me, watch. Don't be dinging. Look at him laugh. <laughs> hmm. The result come as no surprise to me. What a fine trainer, and what fine Pokemon, too. Tapu, go, go, go. Oh, and almighty Tapu Koko agrees. Hmm, perhaps Tapu Koko is hoping that a day may come when you will grow strong enough to battle it as well. Except the Z-Crystal, it allows trainers to share their power with their partnering Pokemon. Oh yeah, show me that fighting dance. Show me the dance move. What do we think it is? It's like... One of these. And then... Yeah? Something like that. Show me. Show me the dance moves, Hala. Observe, Geo. If you wish to use it, Ben... Now then, Geo, with this victory, you have cleared all of the trials of Mele Mele Island, the first of Alola's Islands. The first? Just because I live here doesn't mean it's the first. Well, maybe maybe it's supposed to be in an order. The Mele Mele stamp is proof of your accomplishments. With it, Pokemon up to level 35, even those you received in a trade, will obey you. 
the moon in the daytime, the sun at night. Now to see if you can pour your heart into something that cannot be seen but is very much real. As you continue your island challenge, consider what makes up the people and Pokémon that you meet, both what you can see and what you cannot. You will surely meet Tapu Koko again some day. That's kind of foreshadowing you there. Moar. What's up, Tauros? Hey. Whoa there, Tauros. I've got an idea. How about I set you up so you can ride my Tauros whenever you'd like? No reason why he shouldn't get to enjoy the island challenge, too. Moar. I'll take care of all the little things you need in order to ride a Pokemon, Geo. Rider Pager. Yes. Why don't you hop on there? Yes. Love it. <laughs> the world looks a bit different from atop a mighty Tauros, eh? See, Geo, here in Alola, our Pokemon lend us their strength and let us ride around on them. Let me explain some of the gear I gave you. Your ride page is a tool to let you summon and ride Pokemon. According to in the instructions, you need only press the Y button to turn on your rider pager. Use the B button to dash, and your riding wear will be the special outfit you wear when riding a Pokemon. Have a little romp around Alola with Tauros here. I'm sure you will be charmed by him. When you use your ride pager, ride Pokemon will kindly come running to help you wherever you may be. The best decision ever to drop HMs and replace him with this. Congratulations, Geo. Your performance has been a delight ever since I first laid eyes on you at the trainer school. Aren't Z Powers lovely? <laughs> Oh, I know. Why not stop by the Alola Photo Club for a commemorative photo? With Taurus, you can be down to our Lo Alola city in no time at all. Very well. Off on your island challenge you go. May the future bring you happiness. With a little help from Taurus, Geo, you'll be able to smash right through those big rocks on Route 1. <laughs> all right, I got a little something for you, too. A little Kahlua in a glass. False swipe. I'll never fail to catch a Pokemon again. False swipes a move that will leave your opponent with one HP when you attack. Keep on catching more and more Pokemon, yeah? And let Rotom learn about them. But first, you gotta let your mom know what you're up to. Alright. Oh, you should totally check out the shopping mall and the Alola Photo Club. Okay, so... It looks like uh, we should definitely call the episode here because there's a lot that happened here. Um, the next episode will be me doing cleaning up a little bit. Uh, maybe I'll check out 10 Carat Hill. Nah, I don't feel like checking out 10 Carat Hill yet. Um, well, nah, not yet, not yet, not yet. We'll just we'll finish up the last couple of things. There's a couple of rocks to break, a couple of items to grab. We'll do that, and then we'll be uh, off on our merry old way, I think. So... Uh, you know, the one that Lima mentioned, you totally might get a good idea. Go to the photo club and get a special clearing your first grand trial. No. <laughs> good thinking, how. And once you finish a grand trial, you'll be doing the same thing, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I sure hope so, but first, come on, Tutu. Don't go easy on me now. How's about to take on his grandpa? You are getting so strong already, yeah? Can't wait to see how much you'll grow. Alright, time to get the bow ready. Lily, you gonna help me clean it? Eh. Eh, eh. Why don't you hop right on tourist and take a young ride or something like that? Um. How do I set this up? I want to set this thing up. What does it feel like? What does Taurus. What does riding a Taurus feel like? Does it feel like up? Mm mm. It feels like. It feels like right. Yep. Yep. Right feels good. Love it. 
Okay, so that'll be good enough for that'll be good for this episode, and um, I think I had a pretty good day. We uh, checked out, exited uh, Route Two, went over to Route Three, finished up Route Three, went to the meadows, fought a couple of different boss battle or like memorable battle type of battles, and uh, finished off our grand trial. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.